హలో ఎరుబడి గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ హాయ్ ఆల్ హోప్ యూఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ మై స్క్రీన్ రైట్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ ఎస్ సార్ యా ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓకే సో విల్ స్టార్ట్ యు నో అవర్ డెమో సెషన్ టుడే సో ఐ జస్ట్ మ్యూటెడ్ ఎవ్రీబడి సో హూ ఎవర్ వాంట్స్ టు టాక్ ఆర్ హూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద క్లాస్ యూ కెన్ జస్ట్ యు నో అన్మ్యూట్ అండ్ టాక్ విత్ మీ ఓకే యా హియర్ so today i am going to give some overview about the project what we are going to learn in upcoming sessions okay so just give an introduction as well as you know what is the you know so what are the things we are going to learn in upcoming session just i'll show you so from tomorrow onwards we will start the actual classes okay so this is the oncology project so this is end to end nothing but so what are the you know uh, stages like sgtm adam and tfls everything i am going to cover in this project so this is a purely oncology real time project not is a dummy study and somewhere you know i just not copied i did this project in recently in my company i just taken the data and showing you how the real time programmers have involved in the projects okay so here c disk sgtm adam and efficient programming to generate the tables listings figure by using the sas it is a real time oncology project and end to end so what is sdtm what is data what is tables listings figures etc we'll discuss okay so before that coming to my introduction my name is shiva ravinanda i am acting as a principal statistical programmer in my company i have around 15 plus years of experience i am with grain tarlan people uh, last 5 years i have teached so many batches on various therapeutic areas so here this is my introduction so what is the agenda of this session so introduction and folder structure how the flow of project what is our plan of you know uh, upcoming sessions okay so what happen after this course so around 27 to 20 hardly you know one to one and a half month so i'll explain everything related to this project clinical project so you can also uh, prepare your resume and apply to so many companies and you will definitely get the interview calls during the interview so you can perform i hope you will just you know perform well so after that one company will release some offer letter so once you received the offer letter you are going to join in the company so what is your day to day activity you know if you are going to the office or you are for joining in the company so they will give you some access card so that will register your in time and out time of office so for example you are joined in one company called some cro seniors okay so seniors is a cro so you joined in the seniors with a good package so after first day so once you swipe pin so they will allotted you a cube okay so every statistical programmer they will allotted you one separate cube or a separate place so there you can see the desktop laptop what are the accessories you needed so they will you know install and set up to you so once you open the cno cro laptop okay so the cno it team will provide you the credentials okay so username password etc they will provide you so once you entered everything so you are able to log in and you have to read the policies and you know sos fees related to the seniors company so you have to read and you have to comply with the all the procedures but nowhere you can't see any project clinical project in the seniors because seniors is a cro so that don't have any own projects they are supported to some clients okay so they will inform to their clients okay we have one resource anybody having anybody required that resource sometimes what happen the client may be ask the crbo people we need 10 members so then the crbo people recruit the 10 members and inform to the client so we recruited the 10 clinical sas programmer please assign the work then the company client so for example client is amgen okay so one of the client is amgen roche novati so many clients are there so the seniors people the your manager will write a email to the amgen people so we have recruited one resource and we have given the training like you know so one two weeks training they have given so after that one they drop an email to the amgen amgen company so amgen point of contact 
will provide you some more credentials related to the virtual desktop okay so once you are able to enter the credentials which is provided by the amgen people so through some apps okay citrix gen app generally we use some other mediator apps also there to connect with the virtual desktop okay once you enter the client related credentials through citrix gen app so you are able to open the virtual desktop of client okay there you can see the saas you know genuine saas as well as projects etc you can able to see at their location but once you log in and you are able to see but you can't access every project because you are going to work some specific project so the point of contact from the the client they will act, give you access to only that particular folder okay so even they will give you the access to the saas which says they are using as well as project folder so here our project folder is oncology some number is given okay so once you entered into that folder so one of the folder so one tracker they mention maintain related to the status of the particular study so for example one study was started so they have given three uh, three months of time so during the three months of time so how many resources are allotted and each resources what type of work he is going to give and when he has to completed everything they maintain a tracker so the lead programmer or the managers are doing this activity they created the sheet and they allotted to the allotted work to each and every resource the resource you can filter your name so my name shiva so i filtered my name and check okay this is the activities this are the work allotted to me and you know so the dates also they given what is the targeted date i need to complete if i am you know more skilled person if i am able to do everything in one or two days so the remaining days i can take rest nobody will ask because they given some timeline during the timeline you can finish up the work and you can take rest if not cases you have to stretch yourself and finish the work within the timeline otherwise manager will ask you why you haven't completed within the timeline okay because they given some enough time no worries so during the time you have to complete okay otherwise you need to stretch by yourself to you know spend more time at initial stage but you once you are adapted to projects you can easily finish the work within the target timelines okay so even you know once you finish you can mention the date and report it to them okay i have finished this work this is your day to day activity so go into office open the project see the work and do that work you know so sometimes what happen one or two weeks work they have uh, planned and provide to you so you can plan you can take leave and you can plan your work accordingly so what are the stages in the clinical sas programming okay so some uh, some companies what they do so some sgtm programmers are separate group adam and tfls are separate group and you know some you know reviewer or some uh, senior people are maintaining some red group but some companies they give work to all the programmers sgtm adam tfl work to all programmers okay so here so what is the process what is the flow of project flow of you know uh, work for any company okay any cro or any client so this is the flow so for example uh, recently covid 19 clinical trials was happened to in india or all countries okay so during the clinical trial so the subjects or patients are recruited and doctors are given the drugs to them and you know they collected the data in the form of papers okay so doctors won't use any electronic tabs or nothing so they will write everything on the paper that paper sheets we can call it as crf case report forms okay each and every subject have some bunch of uh, booklets so everything during the clinical trial what are the actions they are taking on the subject even you know uh, the subject is taking you know this medication on this time the subject is you know uh, eating the food this time like that you know uh, even the subject vital signs was checked heartbeat was checked temperature every information was gathered in the form of papers called paper case report form paper crf okay that crf information collected by the cro and they are sent to the department called clinical data management team 
okay there is a separate team cdm team so those people work is nothing but they entered everything uh, the data entry and the data checking and they use some databases to enter all this paper information into the electronic format okay so that electronic format information we can call it as raw sas data sets okay raw sas data set up to raw sas data set as a sas programmer we haven't involved any area but we know what is the process from the starting okay so once the raw data sets were created by the cdm people so they are stored into one folder and informed to the clinical sas programmer team okay raw data sets were ready so you can start your work so the sdtm study data tabulation model team or study data tabulation programmers okay these are also sas programmer they started working by using the raw data set so what are the activities are done in this area so we have to understand that crf and annotated as per our convenience so we have to follow the implementation guide here we are following 3.3 latest version so as per the 3.3 version what are the cd rules they mentioned we have to follow and create the sdtm data sets okay so and the specification we need to write how we are writing the programming everything need to be recorded in the form called specification and we have to write a programming to create the data set and we'll do qc and checking the data set so these are the activities we need to perform in the stage sgtm once the sgtm data sets are ready we'll inform to the adam team so adam team use the sgtm data set as a source data set and understanding the implementation guide cd scrolls and they're writing the specification file and creating the adam data sets and the less using the adam data set once the adam data sets were ready they inform to the tables listings figure team so they use the data set source data set as the adam and they are you know looking the mock shells and writing the program and generate the tables listing figures as well as validate so this is the flow so sometimes what happens some companies as i already told you so some of the dedicated to the sgtm some people are dedicated to the adam tfl some companies what they do if each and every programmer has involving the three areas some companies what they do you know um, so development separate team and validation separate team they are doing okay so this is the end to end so i'll teach everything sdtm adam and tfl so that you will get more calls because if you are working on one area so that is limited calls you will get but you are working in all areas end to end so you will get more calls because if they recruited they will use any area right so that is why i'll teach everything tfl sadam sdtm and i'll show you the raw data set how the extraction was happen also okay so this is the process if any new project coming to your cro seniors so if the client given complete project so you have to start from the raw sdtm adam and tfl if the client want only the tables listing figure the client will provide you the adam data set you people can work on the tables listings figure if the client want adam and tfl the client will provide you the sdtm data set you people can work on adam and tfls okay so here this project you know around 27 to 29 working date it will, will take okay so in this first demo class today and uh, this is a study title so we are using some vaccine of cancer related here this is a cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma related cancer related vaccine trial it is so we are working on this one so in this i'll cover eight listings and eight types of tables and three types of figures and six types of adams and six types of sgtm i'll cover okay so at final i'll give some interview tips and you know extra interview topics resume preparations etc okay so and this is the plan so these are the complete details okay so class 1 what i am going to cover and class 2 and class 3 etc so listings and tables and figures these are the adams these are the sgtm and these are the extra topics okay so as well as along with this one i'll provide Excuse you with me sir yeah sir is there any way that we can record this session yeah i am recording this session it is available in a shared drive after this
Okay, thank you. Each and every class also recorded, and after the class, after one hour, so I'll place into your respective folder material as well as the recording videos. If you miss the class, also you can watch the recording. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, I'll explain everything in detail from the scratch programming, not only copy paste any program. I'll write, you know, open the empty editor window and write everything. And while writing the code itself, I'll explain everything. So that what happen? Any question from any corner related to the tables listing Adam S G T M, so you are able to answer. Okay. So this is for just giving the overview. So these are the tentative days. Ah, uh, just I mentioned. So up to here. So if you go everything and plan, so we will finish up within the twenty-seven uh, to twenty-nine working days. Okay, and okay. So this is just for demo. So from tomorrow onwards, we will start. So anybody having any doubts related to the course or structure or anything, you can ask me now.